A frightening and unusual crash right at the edge of the Buckman Bridge. A 20-year-old woman drove the wrong way and wound up in the river. Here's a live look through our DOT camera. The accident was around 1 o'clock this morning in the southbound lanes heading toward Mandarin. A good Samaritan helped rescue the driver. News for Jack's reporter Scott Johnson is joining us live near the Buckman. Scott, how is the driver doing? She's doing okay. You're about to hear a fire truck go by me. That has nothing to do with this. But I want to show you what happened up on the Buckman. So this woman who's driving northbound over toward Orange Park, somehow she gets across the interstate and starts heading into the southbound lanes. And then she goes into the river. Fortunately, she's okay. We joined the other drivers with trying to figure out how exactly did a 20-year-old go the wrong way on the Buckman and wind up in the river. How do you do that? <laughs> That's what we were wondering. <laughs> no, I, I mean, I live down around Tampa, and they always have the wrong way drivers going on to the, the off ramps. Mm -hmm. But I've never heard of anybody doing that. That's crazy. Here's what FHP tells me. It appears the driver crossed over from the northbound lanes through this gap in the median used by emergency vehicles into the southbound lanes, then ended up crashing through the guardrail and winding up in the river. Drivers are stunned this would happen on the bridge. It's always on the construction. But, uh, but you think it's pretty simple to drive on? Yeah, it's pretty simple to drive on. Master Sergeant Dylan Bryan with the Florida Highway Patrol talked to me by phone and says a good Samaritan saw her go in and fortunately her car did not get very far into the water. Waist deep at most. Uh, exited his vehicle and waded out into the water. It's a shallow area of water. Um, waited out and uh, assisted her from her vehicle and brought her back to, to land. It's unclear whether she was driving distracted under the influence or if it was some sort of crazy accident. But drivers are still stunned, telling me they can envision a lot of crashes on the Buckman, but crossing into the opposite lanes, then going into the river, that's a new one. It's just unreal. I mean, the thing's lit up like an airport. And as far as any sort of charges or citations, the FHB tells me they're still investigating. We are live in the Mandarin side of the Buckman. Scott Johnson, Channel 4, the local station.